some shiny. Yeah. <laughs> it's the pretty boat that wins. Yeah, when they start packing up around on. spots three to eight. Uh, well, I'm out in the water right now. Man, I'll um, tell you, coming in on two point like four yeah. are racing, but the other two yep. haven't been able to start because the night round is so lame. Uh, you got lucky to have plenty of room to do it. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't know if uh, anyone wants to talk about how hard it is to do anything. USA 88's got a little bit to contend with. Looks like he had to duck a little bit. Okay, we're just about two and a half minutes to the second start on the 2.4 meter circle of the IFDS Worlds. On this 2.4 meter circle, you'll notice that these competitors don't like to give up an inch as we saw in the pre-Worlds just a few weeks ago. Our friends at photoboat.com joining us out on the water today. I'd like to throw that little commentary in there just in case they decide to run an ad with me. <laughs> That's just one minute to start. Thirty seconds, everybody gathering in around the back end of the committee boat. Australia one pushing their luck. They've ducked down again. Five, four, three, two. One, there we go. You got Germany 44, USA 142, and Netherlands 11, all deciding to flop over to Port Tack right away. see if that pans out for him. And thanks to Skip for turning the boat so perfectly I don't have to move the camera. First crossings are showing that 
taking the port tack off the line was apparently the way to go. All the port tack boats seem to be crossing well ahead of the standard start tack boats. Got the fleet just a bit spread out coming up to the windward mark. All in position to come together. Are these guys coming from the left side of the... Looks like the port side of the course did well for these front runners coming around right now. And as we look at the front runner, now we know what Paul Tingley's sale number is. <laughs> Norway and Puerto Rico both ducking the line, ducking the uh, starboard tackers. Oh, and Finland 164 just sneaking inside there, getting around Germany 44. He's going to keep France pinned down, isn't he? Yep, France has got to come back. Yep, good job, Paul. He's fighting for every bit of it, though. Yeah, he is. Well, for one thing, with these little boats and as tight as they finish, it's hard to read their sail numbers crossing the finish line going downwind. Yeah. It's a lot easier to read their sail numbers on an upwind finish. Yep. Not by a lot. Paul Tingley's got the inside track on France.
Good competition today. Look at this, we got some fool in a big old bay liner going right through the middle of the fleet. 